We outline in this message how we go about exercising faith in God to possess what He has promised. These practices help us exercise our faith in God. Let's just get ready to do our declaration. Uh, we do this uh, every uh, Sunday morning. Uh, uh, we, we declare what God says about us. This book has so many promises uh, that have the potential to be real in our lives. Uh, and the way we uh, release that potential into reality uh, is by declaring the word. Uh, so, uh, church, I uh, request you to please stand, take your Bible in your hands, and uh, say this out loud, bold, and strong, and, and declare what God says uh, about you. This is God's word. This is God speaking to me. I am who God says I am. I can do what God says I can do. I will become everything God has promised. I am saved, healed, delivered, redeemed. I am blessed, victorious, prosperous, triumphant. I am a minister of God, a servant of Christ, and a channel of His blessing to many people. I receive his word, I believe his word, and I live by his word. Christ is my master, and to him I am in absolute surrender. I advance boldly to take new ground to extend God's kingdom. I have kingdom power and authority vested in me. The powers of darkness cannot hold me back or pin me down. The forces of the enemy cannot restrain me or contain me. The greater one is in me. God's power through me is more than what the devil can handle. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Just turn around to the person next to you. Just uh, give them your name. Welcome them. Wish them. We've been going through this series on uh, faith. Uh, and uh, we've seen, uh, covered a lot of uh, different topics on the aspect of faith. <coughs> uh, we looked at uh, how uh, there's an interplay of the sovereignty of God, the grace uh, of God and also uh, faith that we need to uh, extend, that uh, faith that we need to uh, 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 action uh, in the midst of the grace and the, the sovereignty uh, of God. God looks for us to, to put our faith into action. Um, uh, we looked at the, the faith and ministry of Jesus uh, and uh, what, what Jesus himself taught uh, on faith. Uh, it's um, it's a subject that uh, he spoke about even more than uh, uh, than love uh, in in the gospels, um, and uh, we looked at uh, faith in the Old Testament, uh, the the steps that uh, the father of faith, Abraham himself, the steps that he took uh, when he walked in faith, and then last week was about the believers' walk uh, in faith. Um, uh, we saw that we are saved by grace, uh, that everything we receive from God is, is through faith. And uh, faith is also our shield against the enemy when, when there are doubts that the enemy brings uh, before us. Uh, it's our faith that's the shield that quenches every fiery dart uh, that the enemy um, uh, throws against us. And uh, we fight the good fight of faith. Amen. There's so many things that, uh, uh, that may seem contrary to us, uh, to what we believe. And uh, uh, we, we saw even in, in the Old Testament, there's so many people who died without receiving what they believed in. And Job, uh, uh, as we saw last Sunday, Job says, even if you slay me, yet will I believe. Even if you kill me. 
the faith of, uh, of our forefathers is, is really commendable. Uh, and uh, we must fight that good fight of, of faith. Today, uh, we're looking at how to exercise faith. How do we ourselves uh, exercise faith? Uh, everything that, uh, uh, that happens in our lives, I mean, when we, if we have to receive something from God, we use faith. If you have to overcome the devil, uh, if you have to resist the devil, if you have to overcome, live an overcoming life, you do it by faith. Uh, uh, faith is, our sh um, uh, is what we use when we minister uh, to others. Amen? When you, when you need to operate uh, uh, in the gifting or when you minister to others, you're operating in faith. Um, and so, we have to use the, the, the faith that is available to us and also increase in our faith. Now, as we exercise, there, there are some principles here that uh, 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 we'd like to go through today. Uh, there are about eight principles that we'd like to go through uh, this morning. Uh, but uh, more important than that, as we said in the first message, faith is based on a relationship. Uh, our faith is in the person of Jesus. Amen. So, um, it's it's our faith is not in methods. You know, we uh, every religion has has certain rules, or certain methods. You do this and you get that. But no, our faith is in a person. Our faith is in Jesus, and so uh, we exercise our faith um, um, because of our relationship. Uh, and so the outline given, uh, though we, we base this on scripture that's related to exercising faith. Uh, however, uh, in practice, this is very fluid. You, you may not uh, 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 follow the same order. Uh, maybe uh, you may not even uh, use all these steps. Uh, we depend on our relationship. So this is worked out uh, uh, by our relationship uh, with God. Amen. Is that okay? Yeah? So just turn to your neighbor and say, get ready to exercise. Uh, turn to the other side and say, uh, actually, this is about faith. Okay, uh, so let's get started. The first one, have a desired goal based on God's word. Uh, we need to have that uh, a goal. What, uh, what, what is it that we are believing for? Hebrews 11.1 1, uh, says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Uh, the evidence of things not seen. Amen? So, faith, uh, uh, to, to have faith, while you do that, there is something that you're hoping for. There is a desire that you hope for. Uh, we start with that. Uh, we start with that desired goal. Uh, and this may be something that's really uh, uh, yet to come uh, 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 in, in the future. Uh, and uh, it's, when it says that it's the evidence of things not seen, Though you don't see it with your natural eyes, you do see it, you do need to see it with your eyes of faith. Amen? That's how uh, we, we start to exercise um, this, this faith. You begin to see the things that you hope for with your eyes of faith. You begin to see it uh, in fulfillment, in completion, whatever it is that you're, you're trusting God for. Maybe it's a, a, a healing uh, from, from some illness, uh, or maybe some dream uh, that's there in your life. Um, maybe it's uh, uh, some situation that uh, you're looking uh, to, to come out of successfully, or, or even a, a financial need. Um, you know, if you're looking at uh, uh, coming out of that successfully, you know, there is... Uh, a vision of how it should be, of what is not yet seen. You need to see that with your eyes of faith. So we begin uh, with, by, by looking at uh, um, uh, these things with, with, uh, with, an eye, uh, with eyes of faith. You may want to write this down as, uh, as a goal. Uh, you know, some of us uh, work really well by, by writing uh, things down and, and going and revisiting it uh, maybe sometime later. Uh, and it's, uh, it's amazing how uh, when you go back to, 
uh, to certain things that you've written years back and you see how God has been faithful and he has um, fulfilled, he's helped you work out those things in your life. So every goal that we have is based on the promise of God. We look at scripture, we look at what God has revealed in scripture and, and even what God confirms to us through our spirit. Uh, so the promise of God uh, given in, in, in the word, that is the basis for us, uh, for our faith. That's the basis, that's what you take uh, and uh, that's what you hope for. You know, for example, if, if you're praying for uh, the salvation of a loved one, uh, you can take some scripture. Uh, look at uh, 2 Peter 3.9. Uh, it says, God is not willing that any should perish. Take that scripture and declare that over that lo loved one, who, over the one whom you're praying for, for their salvation. As you, as you do that, declare this word over them. Declare promises, take these promises from the word and declare that over each situation that you need. Uh, and that's how uh, um, we're going to exercise uh, our faith. Uh, the second one is be determined to have what God has promised. Uh, we've got to make a, a, a decision, make a real quality decision that we will have what we have desired for. Um, you know, some of us uh, uh, just say, uh, Lord, if it's your will, uh, uh, you know, uh, give this to me. Uh, if you don't give it, that's okay, that's fine. I know you're busy, you know. You can't uh, obtain things in unbelief. So God calls us, he invites us to have faith. And most of the time it's uh, when situations are contrary. You know, that's when you exercise faith. When do we need to have faith? When things are not going that way. Amen. So, as we uh, 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 have an object of our faith, as we uh, look uh, uh, for some situation to change, we have to be determined. And there are a couple of examples here uh, uh, we want to go through uh, the, uh, in scripture. The woman with the issue of blood uh, who, who came to touch the hem of Jesus' garment. Uh, you know, actually, she was breaking a few laws uh, uh, that, that were there in that society. Um, uh, women who, who had issues of, of blood were not allowed to be out in public. Uh, and even if uh, they went out in public, they were supposed to, to, to shout out unclean. Uh, this woman was breaking a lot of laws to, to just... Uh, touch the, the hem of Jesus' garment. And so there was a determination on her part. There was the exercise of her will. Amen. I'm not asking you to break any laws, uh, but I am ask, asking you to be determined. Amen. There is, there is a, a certain sense of forcefulness uh, with which we inherit the promises. Uh, with which we, we, we take a hold of that for which God has taken hold of us. Amen. Um, uh, the woman from Canaan uh, who came to Jesus on behalf of her, uh, her daughter, uh, she actually refused to take no for an answer. And uh, Jesus was well within uh, his boundaries when he was uh, in that situation because Jesus primarily came for the house of Israel and then through his death for the rest of the world but, but through his life for the house of Israel. All the miracles that he, that he was uh, doing was, was primarily for the house of Israel and so when the, when the woman made a demand, uh, she was from a different land and Jesus as he is sitting uh, at the table uh, you know probably uh, passing the bread around you know, says that the bread of the children is not for the dogs. Amen? So uh, this, uh, this is uh, uh, something that can be so offensive to a person. But you see that this woman from Canaan, she let go of every offense 
there was nothing that could hold her back. Nothing that could uh, to stop her from receiving what she had come for. Amen? And that is that determination that we need. And, and look at the response of Jesus uh, after that. Then Jesus answered and said to her, uh, this is Matthew 15, 28. Oh, woman, great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. Amen? The, the, the faith that, uh, that that woman from Canaan had really impressed Jesus. How about our faith? Does our faith impress Jesus? Oh, Lord, let my faith impress you. It's my prayer. So, you, so your will is involved. You, we have to be determined to have what God has promised. We, don't waver. Um, uh, you know, when, when blind Bartimaeus came uh, uh, and shouted, Lord, have mercy, Jesus is asking, what is it that you want me to do for you? And he's probably asking us the same. What is it that you want me to do for you? Amen? Everyone doing okay? So we looked at uh, uh, faith, how to exercise faith. First have a goal, first have a desire, uh, amen, and then be determined to have what God has promised for us. And the third one is to fill our hearts with the word. Romans 10 verse uh, 17 says, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So one of the practices we need to do is to fill our hearts with the promises of God. And it's there all through scripture. All these promises. Uh, we got to fill our hearts and our minds with uh, these promises, with these scriptures. Uh, uh, you know, our, our spirit becomes filled with assurance and confidence uh, when we meditate on, on these promises. You know, that's how we, we get that confidence. Uh, that's how we, we fill ourselves with, with faith. And that's how we uh, begin to exercise them. So uh, there is an a element of eating to strengthen your spirit. Um, it's funny, uh, you know, sometimes when, uh, when people are anxious, they eat, right? Uh, but uh, probably it's an indication to eat in the spirit, you know, your, your, your spirit man is hungry. And your spirit man needs to be fed. So you need to eat in the spirit. Eat more of the word of God. Eat more of uh, a scripture that will encourage you. Uh, eat from that and, and, and build up uh, yourself and, and, and receive what, uh, what God is giving to us. So uh, the word of God is the food. Uh, that makes our spirits strong. Uh, so when we keep our eyes on, on God's word, that'll help us stay uh, in faith. Amen. So, uh, th you know, th there's actually so much of bad news today in the world uh, that uh, uh, it's, uh, we, we really need to encourage ourselves. You know, they, um, uh, you turn on news for an hour uh, a day, and, and read your Bible for five minutes, it may not be enough. You know, we probably need a little more than that to, to encourage ourselves, to, to keep ourselves, uh, to keep the joy intact. You know, when people look at you and say, uh, what is it that makes you uh, strong? What is, what is it that makes you confident? You know, it's, it's that building up that we did. It's the, it's the word that we ate uh, and uh, um, fed uh, that our soul with. Amen. Uh, Daniel 11, uh, verse uh, 32, it says, but the people that know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do strong exploits. Amen. The people that know their God and we know our God as we go through scripture, as we uh, uh, fill ourselves with the promises, with the word, uh, we will know our God and we will do great exploits. Amen. Uh, the fourth one, pray and receive by faith. So Mark eleven twenty four. 24. Um, 
Jesus says, therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Whatever things you ask for when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. So, one of the ways we, we release our faith is through a believing prayer. When you believe and pray with faith, you're exercising your faith. That's one of the ways to receive. When you pray, receive. And, and Jesus says, when you, when you pray, believe that you receive them at that moment. Believe that you receive them. And uh, it's, uh, we know that some of us, uh, uh, we may pray over a matter for a long time uh, until we reach that place where it's settled in our hearts and we know. And that's fine. That's okay. Uh, until you reach that place, it's okay to, to, to travail in prayer. It's okay to uh, um, hold on. It's okay to pray until you reach that place and, and the matter is settled in your heart and you know without a shadow of doubt that this is going to happen, you know? Um, so uh, it's okay to do that um, as you're praying for a matter. Uh, our goal is to, to arrive at this place. Um, you know, it's, it's just like uh, building a muscle. Uh, you know, when, when, you're, when you're working out, um, and uh, you, you, you're using, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're strengthening your muscles. There are things that you can do after your muscles are strengthened. The things that it, it can do, which you couldn't do many months earlier. Amen? And it's just the same way. You, uh, you begin to exercise. There are things that uh, you may uh, find it difficult to believe today. But as you exercise, as you continue to, to push or you continue to, to exercise those muscles, you reach a place where those old things become easier for you. The things that used to make you anxious no longer make you anxious. The things that, uh, that made you afraid no longer make you afraid because you've reached uh, a position uh, of confidence. You know, the, the exams that terrified you no longer will terrify you. Amen? Uh, Luke 2.52 says, Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. You know, I understand the man part. I don't understand the God part. But it says, that's what it says. Jesus grew in favor with God. I believe that Jesus um, grew in favor until he was so well-pleasing to the Father. He reached that place that he was so well pleasing to his Father. And, then, and the Father said, this is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. So the faith that Jesus had was tremendous. There was so much of faith. He was filled with faith. And wherever he went, he, the, his faith inspired people. His faith changed hearts. The faith that, was, uh, that Jesus carried. Uh, at the tomb of, of Lazarus, uh, um, when he stood there, just before the tomb was being opened, and he prays, Father, I thank you. Because you always hear me. And I say this not for my benefit, but for the benefit of those who are, standard, who are standing here. Amen? The, the faith that he had, the faith that he carried was tremendous. And that faith is the faith that you use to minister. It's with that faith that he was able to raise Lazarus from the dead. One of his biggest miracles. Right? A man who's been dead for four days. That's the faith that um, you can receive when you pray. Amen? So, uh, we need to have a goal. We need to be determined. We fill ourselves with the word. And then we 
pray. Amen? So just nudge your neighbor and say, we've reached halfway. Okay? So uh, the next is to speak your faith. So we need to have a, a goal. Uh, we need to have a desire. Um, you know, we, uh, we, be, we are determined to, to uh, achieve that desire, achieve that goal. Uh, we fill ourselves with faith from the word of God. We pray and then we speak. Uh, this is something that we uh, emphasize so much uh, in uh, APC. Jesus taught us that we release our faith by words spoken out of a believing heart. Amen. So uh, let's look at Mark 11, verse 23, uh, 22 and 23. Uh, so Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God, for assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Amen. And the, the same thing is repeated in Matthew uh, 17, 20. Uh, in Matthew uh, 21, 21, and also in Luke 17, 5. The same scripture, have faith in God. So we speak to that mountain. We speak to that situation that needs to change. We speak to it. Um, whatever challenge uh, it is, you speak to that. If it's an illness, you speak to that illness. Speak to inanimate uh, things. Speak to it and, and declare the word of the Lord over it. You know, curse cancer when you come across anyone who's, who's got cancer in their body. Just curse that spirit and declare healing over them. And this is something that we, uh, we can operate in uh, as we release faith over them. Uh, remember, uh, you know, what uh, God... Um, uh, how God dealt with, uh, with Abraham and, and Sarah. Uh, he worked with this principle, the principle of speaking. Uh, and he changed their names. Uh, Ab uh, Abraham's name was first Abram, which means exalted father. And he changed that name to Abraham, which means father of a multitude. And so every time his name was being called, he was being called father of a multitude now. And, and that was one of the things that, that caused the promise of God to be fulfilled in his life. And even with uh, Sarah, Sarah her, her, her name was first Sarai, which means uh, 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 princely. Uh, and uh, uh, that was changed to Sarah, which means mother of princes. And that's again something that as her you know, that, that name was being declared, that his name was being called, uh, that fulfillment, that prophecy was being fulfilled in her life. And she truly became uh, the mother of a prince. Um, so uh, this is how God uh, uh, operates with us. And even that uh, the, the, the Romans 4.17 scripture, uh, which says, God calls those things that are not as though they were. It's actually talking about Abraham, Abraham and Sarah. You know, when he, it's, he's talking about their faith, he called something that was not as though it was. And uh, Abraham's life is a testimony to that, the fulfillment of that promise. Uh, so this is uh, uh, something that we can look at and, and use for ourselves. Um, you know, so a lot of times we, uh, we, we do the opposite, right? We, sometimes we, we're looking at uh, our nation and saying, uh, oh God, uh, I don't know if this, uh, I don't think the corruption in this place will ever end. And Jesus may say, may it be as you believe. No. Let it be that we declare faith over our nation, over things that are hopeless. Let's declare our faith. 
over hopeless situations. You know, just declare the word over hopeless. And the time to have faith is when things are contrary. The time to have faith, the time to exercise your faith, the time to declare is when things are contrary. And so uh, I encourage uh, all of us as a church, let's, let's make this a habit. You know, every time you catch yourself saying something that's, that's contrary, you know, bite your tongue and, and change those words. Just start declaring the word. Start declaring uh, uh, words of, of faith, words of uh, uh, prophecy over our nation. Uh, this nation can change because of yours and my faith. Amen? It can. It will. And, and we must exercise our faith. You know, I, I, uh, I wonder, probably our nation has not changed because we, as a body, we, as a church, we have not exercised our faith for so many centuries. You know, uh, we had uh, 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 an apostle of Jesus visit this nation. 2,000 years back. By now, this nation should have received Jesus in such a mighty way. But it's for us to declare. It's for us to, to, to travail, to, to speak words of faith, speak words of prophecy over our nation. Amen? So you speak your faith, and then you act in accordance uh, to your faith. Acting out our faith gets the attention of God. Uh, you know, when you, when you speak, think, and act, uh, God notices faith. God responds to faith. Uh, you know, everything that uh, is needed for us, God has already accomplished for us. Now, what's required is our faith. And so he is the author of our faith, and there will be a time when he is the finisher of our faith. But right now, we need faith. Amen? So our faith will uh, uh, make God notice, notice us. You know, when we work out our faith, we know that God's power goes into operation and, and it'll complete uh, uh, that, that work of faith with the power, with his power. Uh, 2 Thessalonians 1.11, it says, Therefore, we also pray always for you, that our God would count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power. Uh, we also know uh, uh, that uh, faith and works, they bring uh, you know, our faith into completion. A lot of times uh, we see in scripture that Jesus uh, asked people whom, we, whom he was healing to act. He said, take, uh, take your bed and walk to the paralyzed man. Amen? To the, to the lame man also. Uh, we see in scripture that uh, they told uh, the lame man to, to uh, take up your bed and walk. So there is an, an element of act, action. There's an acting on our part in faith uh, uh, and, and probably you know uh, uh, we don't know how it, how it worked in their life uh, specifically, but even if they did not have a feeling, they were commanded to act, right? They, did, they were not commanded to wait for a feeling, but to act out in faith. So it's, it's not, uh, fa it's not uh, a feeling that we have to wait for, it's our faith that we use and uh, uh, operate out of. So once you speak, once you start declaring and, and uh, uh, speaking over a situation, uh, the next thing is to act in accordance with that faith. Amen? So James uh, 2, 22 and also verse 26, it says, uh, uh, do you see that faith was working together with his works? And by works, faith was made perfect. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. That's verse 26. Amen. So uh, James is, is telling us to, to mix our faith with actions. Uh, uh, if there's some, something uh, that you need to do in, in a, uh, uh, to, to act out your faith, 
you know i encourage you to 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 think of that ask god what what is the next what is the first thing that i can do to act out my faith and go and do it that that uh, uh, act of obedience is going to uh, bring the fulfillment uh, of the promise of the lord in your life man um everyone doing okay still awake okay uh, five people <laughs> all right uh, let's quickly review uh, we we look uh, looked at uh, having a goal it's important to have a desire right then we need to be determined uh, to to receive uh, what we desire and then we got to fill of our of ourselves with the word uh, and that is going to give us the confidence uh, every promise of god that's going to give us the confidence and then we pray and receive from god uh, and then once you've done that we speak the word of god we speak uh, uh, what god has declared over a situation and then once you've spoken we act we move in uh, uh, in action in obedience act according to the word and um, then we thank and praise god so number 7 is thanking and praising god uh, romans 4:20 it says he did not waver at the promise of god through unbelief but was strengthened in faith giving glory to god i can testify for myself personally uh, that in my life uh, some of the most powerful uh, breakthroughs that i've got in my life was when i i thanked and praised god even when i did not have my answer even when what i was hoping for was yet to be and that's what that's a very strong principle uh, that is uh, the god is Uh, asking us to to operate in you you praise god in the midst of unanswered prayer you thank god in the midst of things that are yet to be so we do this before the desired outcome we do it right now if we worship god when things are still yet to be that's how that's what abraham did he strengthened himself he strengthened his faith by giving glory to god so thank him for his faithfulness to his word worship him for for his greatness and his power when you worship when you magnify him when you when you put him stronger higher bigger than every situation every problem over your life that confirms that word that that produces the power for that word to be fulfilled in your life and we must stay in that place of of thankfulness uh, you know that's how you you keep that gratitude going to keep uh, uh, your faith intact by staying in that place continue to worship continue to pray uh because after you've reached uh um uh you know your that area of faith after you've reached that place you just uh begin to thank god that that joy will just bubble up and that joy will be the one that leads you uh, in your day, daily struggle amen and lastly um stay in faith with endurance so having done everything that we uh, we need to stand we continue to stand with enduring faith we don't we don't let go of our place of faith with god um and it's through that that continuing faith and endurance that we receive you know the devil is is out to uh, uh to to make you weary uh, we got to out weary the devil by staying continue to stay in that faith stay in that uh in our in 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 our hope and we'll receive our promises hebrews uh, 6 verse 12 says uh, that you do not become sluggish but imitate those who through faith uh, and patience inherit the promises so so we imitate those who just uh, 
who had situations to conquer we imitate them because they had faith and patience and that's how they inherited the promises hebrews 10 uh, uh, verse 35 and 36 uh, therefore do not cast away your confidence which has great reward for you have need of endu- endurance so that after you have done the will of god you may receive the promise so we we combine our confidence you know that 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 uh, assurance that we have got we combine that with endurance we need to run the course run that uh, uh, through through time over time and once we do the will of god in faith with endurance we will possess the promise amen let's call our worship team up just get ready to close um just want to take a few minutes to to quickly reflect uh, on on what we heard this morning um we spoke of how to to exercise faith in what god has promised uh, every time we minister to someone uh, we exercise faith and what he has promised uh, if you have to receive something from god we exercise faith in what god has promised if we have to minister uh, to someone we are exercising faith in what god has promised um if you have to overcome situations if you have to resist the devil we have to exercise faith based on the word of what god has promised over us and so exercising faith uh, really takes these steps but we operate out of our relationship with god so some of the principles that we looked at today firstly have a goal have a desire and then be determined to take a hold of that have that determination don't say god if you will uh, give it otherwise it's it's okay no be determined be uh, if god has said it i believe it uh, and then we fill ourselves uh, with the word fill ourselves with the promises that's going to enable us to to receive from him um and then we pray you know until you reach that place of confidence we pray uh, and be convinced and jesus said if you uh, when you pray believe right so we reach that place of confidence that where whatever jesus has has promised it will come to pass and then we speak we speak out of faith we speak to the mountain we speak to situations amen and then we mix our speaking with action so what we have declared over a situation we we mix that with action and while we do that we thank god and finally we stay uh with endurance uh, uh stay on to that faith um you know, even as you're seated i, I just want to uh give an invitation here for those who have not begun that journey of faith uh, if you've never uh you know put your faith in jesus uh, i invite you to do that uh, right now you know he is the author and finisher of our faith he's the one who uh, who you know is the object of our faith and our journey of faith began by us putting our trust in jesus uh, if uh, If you're here this morning and uh, you've never put your trust in Jesus, you've never asked Jesus to be the Lord of your life, to lead your life, I invite you to um, pray a, a short prayer with me and invite him into your life. 
if you if you've never asked the lord to uh, to come and save you because he's come to save us he's come to uh, to come and uh, uh, wash away every sin everything that holds us down everything that separates us from god he's come to wash that away and he's come to uh, help us connect back to god if you hear this morning and if you you've never uh, made that decision to follow jesus uh, i encourage you to just pray this this prayer with me uh, if you've never prayed this just repeat this words these words after me lord jesus i come before you as i am with all my shortcomings with all my failings i ask you to come into my heart forgive my sins lead me in the way everlasting guide my life and bring me to your kingdom fill me with your holy spirit and and give to me the joy of your salvation in Jesus name amen amen anyone who's prayed this prayer for the very first time this morning uh, if you don't mind can i ask you to to uh, lift up your hands anyone who's prayed this prayer very first time this morning if you did pray this prayer uh, uh, but you're feeling shy to to raise your hand uh, i request you to uh, as you're making your way out uh, at every uh, exit uh, we have our ushers uh, who carry a, a red bag uh, just ask them for that red bag uh, uh, in that there is some material that can help you in this decision uh, if you prayed this prayer this morning just ask them for that red bag and there there will be some material there uh, that will help you in your journey uh, with Jesus I encourage you to to reach out to them and and uh, take a hold of that um let's just uh, get ready to close um the, the seventh thing that we said is as we thank and worship God um even while the the thing that we're praying for is yet to be amen and that's how you build faith that's how abraham built faith by giving glory to god and so um, i, I want to do that uh, let's do that song again uh, raise a hallelujah uh, just uh, you know that's in the middle of the storm let's raise a hallelujah let's raise this declare uh, what how strong our god is how mighty how able he is amen uh, church when we rise up to our feet um, and as we do this song um, even as uh, uh, there may be things in your life things in your heart that the lord has quickened uh things that uh god has asked you uh told you regarding your faith just hold that and be determined today to take a hold of that this morning just be determined let's let's work this out let's let's exercise our faith this morning you know as we thank god as we worship god uh, let's begin to speak let's begin to declare you know over our situations and even if it's uh, something over your body uh, if there's an illness uh, uh, those who are watching us online as well i i i encourage you if you're at your home and if if there's any illness if there's any sickness in your body just declare 
these words and begin to act out begin to uh, move as according to your faith and the lord is going to to do wonders here in our midst man let's go for it
your voice sing it I'm gonna sing in the middle of this storm louder and louder gonna hear my praises up from the Put our hands together for the King of Kings is alive, and His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. Can we praise Him a little bit more? Can we praise Him a little longer today? Come on, let's start marching a little bit. Is that okay? I'm talking about Jesus today. He's not one God among millions, but He is. God all by himself. Amen. Come on. Oh, I'm gonna sing in the middle of the storm. Gotta let the other prisoners know that we battle with praise. This is how we come on. This is how I fight my battles. It may look, it may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. This is how I fight my battle. This is how I fight my battle. our position and we will see the Lord fight the battle for us. 
Amen. He will fight our battles. If the Lord is for us, who can be against us? If the Lord is for us, who can be against us? The commander in chief is here. The captain of the Lord's army is here. Chief Jesus, he's here, he's here. He surrounds us with himself. He surrounds us. You surround me. You surround me. You surround me, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You surround us, oh God. You surround us. Yes. We raise a hallelujah. In the midst of this trial, in the midst of the storm, we raise our hallelujah to you, Lord. This is how we fight our battles, Lord. Declare your word, Lord, over every promise that you have given to us, O oh God. We declare, Lord, by your, by your promise, they are fulfilled. By your word, they are fulfilled. We thank you, God. Thank you. We thank you, God. It is done. It is done. In Jesus' name. We thank you. It is done. I just pray that faith arise in us, O oh Lord. Your children. Lord, build our faith, O oh God. Help us exercise our faith in you, O oh God. Help us arise in faith. Help us declare words of faith to hopeless situations, O oh God. Because of you, because of what you are able, O oh God, to do. Thank you. We declare, O oh God, by your stripes, we are healed. We enjoy divine health by your stripes, O oh God. Oh, we declare every hurting body, be healed right now in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you, O oh God. You surround us, O oh God. And Father, I pray that faith arise in us to minister to people around us, O oh God, to people who need it, Lord, to the lost and the hurting. O oh God, I pray that you, you cause us to, to act out our faith, O oh God, to, to work out our faith and to go to the lost. To go to the hurting, oh God, and to operate. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. How we love your presence, oh God. Oh, you prepare a table in the presence of our enemies. We thank you, Jesus, for that. Thank you. Oh, we declare joy to arise more and more in us and Lord, even in this city, oh God. We declare the, 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 rep, the revival of joy in this city. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Let's just close. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the fellowship of a sweet Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. In Jesus' name. We trust that this message was a blessing to you. We would love to hear from you. You can email us at contact at apcwo.org. Also visit our website apcwo.org for additional resources. Thank you for listening and God bless you.